So you're not a Facebook ads copywriting guru, and you also don't have the time to write 12 different ad variations to test which one is going to be most effective? Well, don't worry. In this video, I'm gonna break down how to use AI to write phenomenal Facebook ads copy. Hey guys, my name is Chris Morato, and in this video, I'm going to show you the powerful AI tool to write phenomenal copy that ends up converting really well. So we've all seen these clickbait, scammy little ads that keep popping up. It's like, use AI to write your ads, blah, blah, blah. Well, we've tried all of them because I'm a huge AI nerd and I think it's gonna change everything. And so what we've done is purchase different softwares to see which ones work better. And what we found is there's one in particular, and this is not a sponsored video, there's no affiliation, there's no nothing. It's just what I've found in using these different tools to be most effective. So you're wondering what this is. Well, it's Jasper, previously known as Jarvis, which you can also find at conversion.ai. So they have a bit of a branding problem right now, but irrelevant, let's talk about Jasper. Jasper is a tool that they have developed that scours the internet for information on different topics. Of course, our experience is limited to what we're using it for, so I don't know about technical writing and engineering and manufacturing, but I do know for B2C services and products, Jasper is pretty amazing. So let's hop into it. First template that I've been using is the ADA framework, which is attention, interest, desire, and action, which was developed in the 1800s by Elias St. Elmo Lewis. And it was created to bring attention, increase desire, increase interest, and then the action of purchasing. So let's get into Jasper and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. So within the ADA framework, this is the dashboard of Jasper. And we're going to do some test product ads for my e-commerce store, Savage Man Grooming. So Savage Man grooming beard bomb product description easy enough let's just go to the website and check out our beard bombs tone of voice we are a very fun brand at savage man grooming so we're gonna do fun so as you'll see what comes out is the exact framework attention interest desire and action this is incorporated into what this tool spits out for us in terms of the copywriting for your Facebook ads. So do you wanna grow a beard? Not necessarily, because we already have beards, that's why we're looking for a beard bomb. Does your beard need a little TLC? That could be a potential. You tired of having an itchy, dry, flaky beard? Do you wanna make sure that your facial hair is healthy and strong all year round? If so, then our beard bomb is just what you're looking for. There's the interest. The desire. We know how frustrating it can be when you don't have the right products to help tame those wild hairs in your face. Not too bad. And then attention. Click here now to purchase Savage Man Grooming Beard Bomb online today. A little iffy, right? So this tool is not perfect, but what it definitely does is gives you enough information to then rewrite these ads to be tailored to what you need them for your Facebook ads. What we've found is that generally now Facebook only wants certain characters on their ads. You still see those seven page ads come through, but we wanna skim these down a little bit, shave them up to be a little bit more specific and quick in order to get those top of the funnel, middle of the funnel, or bottom of the funnel app. And if you're looking for more information about how to structure your ads in terms of a full funnel strategy, go ahead, click this link right up here, watch that video, come back here afterwards, and that way you're gonna be able to frame your ads correctly based on which phase of the funnel your customers are in. So as you can see, like I said, this ADA framework is great. Now you definitely don't wanna incorporate all of this into your ad, but you can definitely select sentences out of it to make an ad that is perfect for your business and you can continue generating more outputs and therefore you have the ability to test version one, two, and three, or four and five, depending on how many you want in order to find out which ones are most effective. The next framework 
that we have found to be extremely successful with our Facebook ads copywriting is the PASS framework, Problem, Agitate, Solution. So let's get into that one. On this test, we're gonna do funny and witty as kind of the tone of voice, because again, the brand is very kind of fun and rude and a little outlandish. So we're gonna go with this. If you have a different business or if you have different tone of voices that you wanna work with, input them, test out which tone of voice is going to work for you. So as you can see, we just spit out a problem, agitate, and solution. And what this is gonna do is bring that initial problem that's going to get somebody to look at your ad and stay on it and read a little bit what's next. This agitate is going to touch on the pain points that the potential customer is experiencing, followed by the solution introduces your product or service. Problem, most beard bombs are either too greasy or too dry. Agitate, you want a beard bomb that will soften your hair, hydrate your skin, tame flyaways, and promote healthy growth, but you don't wanna feel like you're rubbing grease all over your face. Not bad. Savage Man Grooming's Beard Bomb is the perfect solution. Our Beard Bomb has a soft consistency that is easy to apply and leaves your beard feeling soft and healthy. That's an excellent one. So what we wanna do is a good completion. And what this does is it tells the AI, hey, we like this one. Keep working within this framework to create more ads that are similar to this. And I know I'm going through this relatively quickly, but it is a great tool and there's a lot of different frameworks that I wanna show you guys. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and let's get into the next template. The next framework is a bridge after bridge framework. This one, what I found is that it actually does what we would have to manually do with the other ones in terms of keeping things relatively short. And I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about right now. And for this one, we're gonna go ahead and use the Savage Man Grooming Beard Oil as the test. Again, we're going with a funny and then salesy tone of voice. What we did was we took the content description of what our product description is on our website and that's a good framework to use. So now that we've completed this framework, as you can see, it is a much shorter copy than the previous template. So again, you can see the different tone of voice and you can see the different structure between these frameworks. And that's why this tool is phenomenal at writing Facebook ads because you can test all of these different frameworks within your campaign. And if you needed a plan in order to effectively structure and name your ads, your ad sets, and your campaigns, go ahead, click this video here. It's all about our Facebook ads naming convention to be very specific in terms of which ads are running under which ad sets to determine which copy works best and which creative assets work best. So highly recommend checking that video out. Let's get back into this. So each of these frameworks brings a different element to you, your ads, and your consumers. You're explaining each step of the process in terms of what the problem they're experiencing, the kind of agitation that they're experiencing because of that problem, followed by the solution, which is your product or service. So highlighting your ads in this manner is super effective. And with this Jasper Jarvis tool, it is really, really interesting and makes life a whole lot easier in terms of customizing based on what this thing spits out. So I wanna get into another framework and I hope you guys aren't lost by now. If you guys are enjoying this content, go ahead, hit the subscribe button. I put out videos every week to help you guys better understand how to do digital marketing, whether it's content, Facebook ads, Google ads, or search engine optimization. My second to last framework that we've found to be relatively successful using this tool is under ads. And that is the Facebook ad primary text tool. So again, let's test Savage Man Grooming Beard Conditioner. We're gonna go ahead and take the description from our website, which if you guys have a beard, you can find a link in the description below. And we wanna do funny and rude. So based on the previous templates, this one by adding that word rude in has completely changed the whole copy. As you can see, your beard is a mess, it's patchy, it's unkept, and it smells like last week's leftovers. You're gonna need some help if you wanna get that manly look you've always wanted. We've got the solution for you, Savage Man Grooming's beard conditioner will transform your scraggly facial hair into something more presentable in no time at all. This formula with natural oils will leave your beard feeling soft and smelling great. Get yours now before we run out. 
not something I would really use for a Facebook ad. So you're seeing here, my preferred frameworks are definitely the first three, problem agitate solution, attention, interest, desire, action, and even the bridge after bridge. Once we start getting into the Facebook ad primary text, I get a little lost in terms of what it's actually trying to convey to our potential customer. So Facebook ads copywriting is all about bringing attention getting the user to stop scrolling, bringing interest by the words and the creative, and then getting them to take the desired action that you want them to. Telling you this tool is really great. I think it's 49 or $99 a month. Highly recommend at least giving it a try because like I said, the testing opportunities and it gets your mind thinking creatively in terms of this might not give you the exact copy that you wanna use, but your mind is able to think a little bit differently based on what it gives us in terms of the various outputs. So if you guys found this video useful, if you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button. I hope to see you guys here again next week. Again, I put out videos all the time about Facebook ads, Google ads, search engine optimization, and content marketing, specifically for service businesses or e-commerce stores. So subscribe.